First, there was the Nintendo, followed by the game-changing Super Nintendo, evolving to four-player technology with the N64 and GameCube, advancing into 3D handheld movement detection of the Wii, and the groundbreaking hybrid console Nintendo Switch, leading us all the way to our most recent cutting-edge, state-of-the-art glorified origami cardboard technology known as the Nintendo Labo. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? Cardboard? Yeah. That's the stupidest thing I've ever but heard. It's only seventy dollars. I'll take it. And the people who brought you none of the things mentioned earlier, we now present the Nintendo Paper. My name is Ryan Higa, and I am the CEO of Nintendo with an E. When I first heard of the Nintendo Label, I thought, wow, this is brilliant, this is genius, but it's just kind of missing something. It, it wasn't quite there. I mean, it was cool, it, it was it was dope. It just wasn't Nintendo. It was literally like a Nin out of Tendo, and not a Ten out of Tendo, like a Ten Tendo, you know? Cardboard is something we really focused on years ago, and now that Nintendo is doing it, it just goes to show you that we're leading the pack, and we're headed in the right direction backwards. People don't want to advance technology anymore. They're sick of all these newer, smarter, more advanced products. Look at fidget spinners, kendama, slime, mumble wrappers. People don't want better. They want to go backwards. And that's why the Nintendo paper is perfect for this generation. With an 8.5 times 11 inch paper screen and a width of less than 0.1 M&Ms, it weighs only 5 g making it not only one of the largest screens out of any handheld console today, but also one of the lightest and most portable thanks to its multi-bendable size and complete wireless technology. And even with a screen that gigantic, it's one of the most durable products on the market. We've performed countless stress tests from drops to scratches to running it over with a truck. The screen just does not crack. However, it isn't quite 100% waterproof yet, but our incredible team of scientists are currently working on a waterproof case, and that's not going to be an issue for long. Now, I know a lot of people think that this is just some kind of money grab because on the outside, it might look like a normal, average, useless piece of paper. That's just because technology has just sucked the creativity out of people. And just like the Labo, the Nintendo paper is here to bring back that creativity and imagination because when you use your imagination there's tons of uses for the Nintendo paper you can use it as a palm you can use it as a straw use it as a placemat saran wrap turn a baby into a hat use it as a kite use it as a knife why even brush those pearls when they're already white on a diet have some zero calorie rice you can even use it as a 2009 cleaning device nobody's gonna get that reference so what are you waiting for order your Nintendo shampoo wait wait what why am I talking like this? Feels like I went back like 10 years or something. You see, the Nintendo paper takes you all the way back to your most creative days, when you were a kid and you didn't have the technology to create a world better than your own imagination. And that's our true mission here at Nintendo with a need to avoid copyright issues, to bring back the most valuable asset in the world, a child's imagination. So order the Nintendo paper now for the same exact price as the Labo, $69.99. No joke, that's how much it actually costs. And before you know it, you'll get it all back the brain of a child.
Dude, this Nintendo paper is freaking awesome, man. Oh, if you like that, you're gonna love Microsoft's new system. What's that? Xbox. 